Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's take a look at some simple animations and how we can animate objects in Unity. So what we really need to do is have a specific tab called the Animation tab. And we can get this by clicking anywhere in one of these little menus. So you could have it here if you wanted. You could have it here if you wanted, but I generally like to have it here at the bottom. So we click the little menu here, click on Add tab, and then click on Animation. And it'll bring this up. Now, in its simplest form, animation is incredibly easy to do. So we could do something like uh, change the position, the rotation, the size, the alpha, all kinds of different things. So let's take this object right here. So we need to make sure we have an object selected. As it says here, no animatable object selected. So let's select this one right here. It gives us the option to create an animation. So let's do so. And we can call this absolutely anything we want. Let's call it my anim and save and you'll be presented with something like this if you're using a very old version of unity the record button right here may already be selected if not you just need to press this right here we're doing this in 60 frames a second and we can see that dictated here by samples this right here is our frame number frame zero is our very first keyframe so we would want to set the keyframe of what this is right here as it is. So let's rotate this constantly. So what we could do is let's take a look at the rotation here and let's rotate on the Y. So we want to make sure the Y axis in its first keyframe is set as zero. And to do that, we would go up here to our transform component. We could type one or two or three or whatever, but then set it back to zero. And you can see that this is now red. This means a frame is being set. So we have that keyframe set. Now let's say we want to rotate by 90 degrees by the time we get to the 60th frame, which is one second. So we could go here and type in six zero, hit return, and it would take us to the 60th frame. You can see here, the white line is now at the 60th frame. So we could then set this to 90. And what that means is that during the course of zero frames and 60 frames, it will rotate 90 degrees and it will animate itself. You don't need to set each frame. It will do it automatically. So it just has to move from this frame to this frame and it knows how to get it there. So let's say by the 180th frame, hit return, we want it to rotate to, I don't know, 180 so it rotates quickly then slowly and then let's have it rotate really fast so let's say by frame what should we have 210 we've rotated to 270 and then let's say another second so 270 and it rotates back to zero however we would want to set this as 360 hit return. So it's rotated 360 degrees. Now what should happen if we press the record button, it will stop that animation and that animation is now saved. So if we go to our project, we can see that two files have been created. The one with the play icon, that is the animation itself. The other one is called a controller. The controller holds all the animations that you create for one specific object. So if we click on the object itself, we can see here it has the animator component and the controller is right there and that houses all of these animations so if we bring our camera well we should be able to see it because we can see it in our preview right there but what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this camera onto cube 4 zero it out and then drag the camera back out and then reposition it so we can see the animation in action so let's press play and we should see that animation work no problem. Awesome. So that's how we can control animations. But there's different things you can do. You can mix and match animations. So we've clicked an animation and it's disappeared. That's because we're not set on the right object. So let's click on our object. And now let's change the scale. So because we're making modifications in this animation, we can click on the record button to go back into edit mode. And let's say we want the scale to be one by one by one when we start. So let's change to zero, 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 and then just reset to one, one, one. 
Remember, this is the first keyframe. We're setting its original position, and we need this to be read to show that it's, it's set. So let's go to frame 60. And let's say by frame 60, we want it to be half the size. So let's set it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. Now let's go to frame 180, which is this one right here. And let's say we want to make it double size. So two by two by two. And now let's go to frame 210, which is the next frame. And you can see all these frames up here are set because all the options here are turned red. So let's bring it back to one by one by one. And we'll keep it as one that whole time. So let's press the record button to save that animation. And now when we press play, we should see that updated animation. Awesome. So you can see how the animations can work nice and easily. And it's not just objects that you can animate. You can animate anything. You could animate a camera. You could animate a light. You can animate a particle system. Absolutely anything. It just depends what you want to do with an object. And you can see how this is reacting. It's kind of cool now. But it's an endless animation. Last thing to take a look at is the animation itself. We could always untick loop time. So it only plays the once. This is handy for things like attacking animation. And there we go. It's just played once. So guys, I hope that helps you a little bit with animation. There is a lot more to animation, but this is the basics of it. I would recommend exploring what you can now and seeing what you can come up with in terms of animation. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with all the content on my channel. And guys, I thank you very much for watching.